Leaders in Bemidji are coming together to tackle one of the city's biggest problems, pollution in one of its lakes. The issue directly deals with Lake Irving, a water body that likely needs work in order to stay usable for the public. Our Jackson Bruner explains. It seems to happen every year. Seasons change, flowers bloom, and Lake Irving turns green. This body of water has been on the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency's impaired water list since 2010. Lake Bemidji uh, and Lake Irving are gems for our community and for Beltrami County. And uh, an impairment designation on Lake Irving is very serious because uh, it puts at risk other lakes downstream. Efforts are in the works to make a change. As the MPCA met with the Bemidji City Council and Beltrami County Board on Monday to talk about doing what's called a total maximum daily load study which would look at the nutrients entering the lake. And in Irving's case, they believe far too many get in. It's a shallow lake. It doesn't have a huge capability to assimilate those nutrients. So it tends to, what happens, it gets warm in the summer, it heats those nutrients up, and the, it dis, they don't disappear fast enough, and you get these algae blooms. Some nutrients come from the rest of the upper Mississippi watershed as it flows into Irving, but others could be coming from stormwater drainage nearby. We haven't really monitored it to see what's all coming in from that system. What kind of, are we bringing in phosphorus? Are we bringing in nitrogen? What, what's all coming into that? What's contributing to the status of Lake Irving? So we want to do some monitoring of those systems as a starting point, just to see where we sit. Fixing this issue is likely to take some time, but all sides say they're committed to helping Lake Irving improve. The main message is that clean water starts with all of us, and that's with homeowners, with good septic systems, and, and making sure they have good lawn mowing practices. All these things that uh, are contributing uh, to dissolved phosphorus into our water. We fish it a lot. We recreate. Uh, there, 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 there's, there are the beaches, there are the, uh, uh, there's the opportunity for all kinds of water sports and also uh, fishing. Lake, uh, lake Irvin is a pretty good fishing lake and we wouldn't want to see that uh, uh, diminish in any way. If we're going to make progress in protecting and restoring our surface water resource, it, resources, it all begins with gathering the troops and getting taking advantage of all the input that people have and the professional knowledge that we have in this room here today. We have some of the nicest surface water resources, not only in Minnesota, but in the country here in the city of Bemidji and this watershed, the Headwaters watershed, and we want to do our best to protect them for the future. In Bemidji, Jackson Bruner, Lakeland News. The MPCA says phosphorus is likely the main excess nutrient in Lake Irving. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.